What's going on YouTube Metal Complex here and today I wanted to show you guys this awesome titanium cage that's being made by Flytanium for the Manix 2. Uh, here's a look at the old plastic cage and uh, if you're like me um, this is uh, one of the only things that uh, bothers you about the Manix 2. The fact that you have a flimsy and you can see there the flex in that if I can get it to focus the flex in that plastic cage um, is a little bothersome. I love the Manix 2, absolutely. The only thing that was holding me back from calling it absolutely perfect was the fact that the cage was plastic. And this is something that has bothered people for a long time. Um, in fact, the originals had a clear plastic cage uh, and there were some ports of the peg actually breaking as you pull back on this part here. The spring, um, you know, allows this to move back, but you put a lot of pressure on that peg because it's up against the steel part of the uh, the inside of the lip of the um, backspacer and uh, uh, there were reports of it breaking and so Spyderco moved to a stronger more durable black plastic but there were still a lot of calls for a steel or titanium cage you know or something that was just stronger I think people would have even accepted aluminum um, just something that was stronger and metal to give people the feeling of you know a more durable knife which uh, I, I think the Manix 2 was really designed to be um, the, the Manix 2 is definitely going to see more pocket time now that, um, now that that is the case. You can pick these up from Flytanium for about 40 bucks right now at the time of this video. If you're watching it way in the future, I have a feeling these are going to become super popular and they're going to sell out really quick. But 40 bucks for the Titanium one. There's also a copper one and a brass one. Any of them will work just fine. Just so you know, I did actually record myself taking the Manix 2 apart and installing this. But it was so bumpy and such a pain to take the Manix 2 apart, um, I decided not to show it. The other problem was is I kept taking the knife off camera and there was a lot of um, there was a lot of me just like messing around with the Manix 2 off camera. So what I'm actually going to do, because I'm sure you guys are like, what? Show yourself installing it. I am, but I also ordered some custom scales for the Manix 2, um, different than the Flytanium copper scales that are being shown here. Um, the truth is, is I love the Flytanium copper scales. They fit perfectly. They look really nice, but they make this knife weigh eight ounces. I, I think I can't remember. It's really heavy. The knife is already a little off balance, being a little butt heavy. With the this is a version where the liners where uh, or the liners are not milled out, so there's a lot of weight in the butt already, and that's just with the G10 scales. Adding the copper scales made it so heavy. There's just no balance whatsoever. I mean, it is absolutely 100% butt heavy now. So. I found some, uh, I, originally I wanted some Flytanium titanium scales to match with my new cage, but I found some really awesome uh, custom G10 scales that should be here before the weekend. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to record myself now having gone through the, the horrible process of taking the Manix 2 apart, I found some really good you know, do's and don'ts that I want to share with you guys. So if you like this and you're intrigued by this video, and maybe you didn't know that you could get a cage, um, if you're watching this right as I upload it, you can go ahead and purchase yourself one. And then by the time it gets here, um, within just a day or so of you receiving it, um, I will upload a video of me taking my Manix 2 apart correctly and installing the cage or show you how to do it efficiently so you don't mess things up and so you can avoid a bunch of frustrations. And then I'll also be installing um, my custom scales at the same time. I think that's going to be a more efficient and enjoyable video. Um, I don't know if that'll go up Friday or Saturday or Sunday, but uh, that is the plan as long as the scales um, come in before the weekend. But I thought you guys might be interested. If you guys are um, you know active on Instagram, then you'll know, you know I posted uh, about this, but uh, if you follow Flytanium on Instagram, then you'll already know about these. Um, but uh, I, in my opinion, this is a must-have upgrade for your Manix. You don't necessarily have to upgrade, um, you know, the scales or anything like that. But I think the titanium cage or copper cage or a brass cage um, is just an amazing upgrade, and I, I no longer have to worry about that anymore. You know, it's kind of the same feeling I have with the Omega Springs on Axis Locks. I love Axis Locks, but I'm always worried, like. Are those gonna break? You know, because if they break, it makes your knife useless. Same with the cage. If your cage breaks, it makes it useless. You know, uh, with the titanium cage, there's no part of me that is worried about that at all. Excuse me, I'm gonna put my phone real quick on airplane mode so that we can get back to the video. Um, uh, but uh, anyways, uh, one other thing to keep in mind: if you have a lightweight version of the Manix 2, I read uh, this is direct from Flytanium. I don't believe the cages are able to be switched out. 
Um, you can't, in, in other words, you can't take one of these titanium or copper or brass cages and install them on a lightweight version of the Man X2. It has something to do with the construction. Um, but just, just so you guys know, apparently you can't do that. But if you have any other version of the Man X2, uh, sprint runs that are in G10, or you have the G10 versions with the milled out steel liners, any of those, apparently it works just fine. Um, as far as whether or not they'll fit in the Man X2 XLs, I could be wrong, and somebody you can you, all you have to do is look down in the comment section if this is a, in the future. Somebody will have corrected me if I'm wrong. I believe the cages are the exact same size between the Manix 2 XL and the regular Manix 2. So I believe these cages will work in the Manix 2 XLs. Again, before you rush off and buy one, just you know double check, look down in my comment section, uh, or check online to make sure that that is the case. Um, but uh, I just, I'm so overjoyed. Um, a lot of you might remember um, back on Blade Forms a long time ago, somebody um, actually uh, created some aftermarket titanium cages for the Manix 2. Um, if I remember the thread correctly, his dad was a machinist and he was like, hey, can you make this out of titanium? And he made like 10 of them and Blade Forms went nuts. And, the, and there are a few people out there who have them these original cages made by this guy, but apparently it was a lot of work and, you know, he wasn't able to like mass produce them. And then he just dropped off the face of the earth. So whenever you search, you know, cause a lot of people have wondered like, is there a titanium upgrade for the cage for this knife? People come across that thread and they read about it and then they're like, well, well great. Where can I get my hands on one? And then you realize that the thread is like super old and you just couldn't do it. So Flytanium stepped in and did what I think a lot of people were really wanting for this knife. Um, considering the base price of the Manix 2 G10 is like what, 110 bucks, um, a $40 upgrade or a $40 part um, for this knife, uh, I, in my opinion, is well worth it. I, I mean, if you guys are wondering, the fitment is absolutely perfect. The action is flawless. Um, this actually, for whatever reason, removed the stickiness that I had initially with the lock. Um, it's absolutely machined to perfection. I mean, you can see even the symmetry on both sides is just perfect. Um, it's a joy to feel because it actually does create a metallic feeling of solidity on the knife. Um, it's an absolute upgrade from the plastic one. Now, that's not to say if you decide not to upgrade it, that your plastic one won't serve you just fine. I'm sure that it will. This one did just fine over time. It doesn't show any signs of wearing down or breaking. Um, I've had this Manix 2 for, I don't know, as long as I've had the channel. Um, so a year, year and a half, and I've been using it extensively, and I've never had an issue with the um, with that cage. But um, now that I don't have to worry about it at all, I'm very, very happy with it. I don't know that there's anything else I really can say about that other than that I absolutely recommend this. Um, like I said, watch out for the... Um, the how-to video or the assembly video because I'm going to do my best to um, create a uh, kind of a step-by-step -step of the easiest way to take your Manix 2 apart and install this cage. It is absolutely a pain to take these things apart. Everything's spring-loaded and if you guys don't know that ball bearing is literally just sitting in there. It's being held in by the shape of the cage. There's kind of a spoon-shaped lip on one side of the cage and the other side is open but it's pressed up against the, the inside of the backspacer which is what holds the ball in place. Basically as soon as you take everything off, uh, crap hits the fan and the spring just blasts the uh, the the cage and, and the, the ball bearing and everything inside of there just blasts it into orbit. So it's not fun to take apart. And trust me, that video that I have is not fun to watch. Um, so uh, I'll make sure that uh, that I get an efficient video out, something that's entertaining for you guys and, and something that's actually helpful. Um, but uh, that's gonna be pretty much it for this. I just wanted to show this off and share it with you guys, you know, and let people know who didn't know that this is a thing now and you can perfect um, your Manix 2. Um, and, uh, you know, turn it into the uh, the powerhouse that you've always wanted it to be. So thank you again, Flytanium, for doing this. This is amazing. Um, they did not provide this to me. They, I don't think Flytanium even knows that I exist. I, I just bought it. I saw their posts and I said, I'm buying that. I got to have it. So anyways, that's going to be pretty much it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So please check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, then please subscribe to my channel because there is definitely 
more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.